Hey Jonathan, thanks for clicking to this video. Wait, I didn't create this video. I guess Be Human did it. Well, that's good. More time on my side. So here's the tool that I was mentioning before and that I'm using. It's called BeHuman.ai and it's a very powerful AI video prospecting tool or video generation tool, however we want to call it. So uh, this is basically used to create the automated personalized video at scale uh, in a way that uh, is personalized so uh, you can for example have videos where you change the name and the name is changed automatically based on the the person but you can also change other variables as well uh, i personally use in this uh, for lead generation so for, to connect with people who might be interested in buying ai services but this could also be used in other areas as well such as uh, uh, customer support such as marketing such as uh, uh, demo uh, demo scheduling or something along those lines i think it's really really useful and the use cases are quite uh, broad so let's dive in let's look at the tool and uh, let's see how to actually work uh, on uh, um, and create uh, a personalized campaign so the interface is uh, is here it's pretty simple to use you start off with uh, uh, create over here and then you can start off in different ways you can either use your own videos which i think is the best way uh, for everyone you can use the community videos which are the ones uh, where you will uh, probably have the best results possible and uh, it's even barely noticeable that people are using ai uh, so i'll first off uh, uh, show you an example with this uh, and i'll show you also a couple of examples both good examples and bad examples to show you different fields so here's an example of uh, the structure of a campaign that we start off uh, as i mentioned before starting off with uh, uh, video from the community which is probably where you're gonna get the best results so let's start by hearing the first part of the hi Neem. how are you i hope all okay so the uh, the tool is gonna change the first part the name to the name of uh, the recipient of the person that you want to contact what you can do over here is go on preview sample and try a sample to see um, which uh, results you, uh, you get uh, let's try for example ricardo which is like not an easy name here but let's generate sample and see what are the results uh, in this ca campaign example here's the example that we have and uh, let's play it out and and hear how it is hey ricardo <laughs> how are you as you can see here is uh, the the example is quite amazing it's pretty unnoticeable and uh, you really really have to uh, go go there and uh, stop at the precise sign to to understand if it is uh, um if it is real or not so this is an example of a, a community one I, I will go further and also uh, show the campaign creation process here and here you can see there's a different kind of data sources that you can use you can um, upload your data from a csv for example you can either use zapier and uh, there's a very very good zapier automation over here you can use leader which is their linkedin automation tools and soon you can also use uh, uh, mailchimp and over here you can map out the column headers to the video variable in this file for example you can choose uh, the different variables here i can choose the name and so the the name will be mapped with the first name and not with the other areas and also i think there are two other different uh, uh, useful feature which is the voice you can either choose to voice clone which is uh, what we express now or you can either choose to uh, record the voice manually and uh, manual voice recording is way better in some specific uh, um, parts especially those related to different uh, variables other than the name such as the industry such as different areas uh, it's is where uh, record voice manually also works very well and also here you can add a background mode such as different backgrounds like a video like a public website linkedin url uh, your own videos and uh, a lot of different things are possible and that uh, you are only limited by your imagination so right now i would also like to show you a couple of results first off uh, 
I think it's uh, uh, it's great to see a good a good example. This is the one that I generated today. So, um, hey Jonathan, Ben, this is a, this is a very good example of uh, of me generated that today. Uh, as you can see, this is not perfect, definitely. Uh, but uh, there are some requirements uh, that you need to follow in order to make the video as good as possible. So uh, having uh, recorded the video in HD, record the video at a certain distance from a camera, uh, and then uh, making the video at least of a certain length, uh, otherwise uh, uh, the video will not uh, sample the voice in the correct way. So here, for example, one of the errors that I did is I didn't sample the video, I didn't make the video as lengthy as possible. I just said four seconds, so uh, that is why the voice is not as perfect as possible. But I also want to show you a bad example of uh, something that I did in the past and uh, um, was, uh, um, was obviously automated. So here's an example of this video. Hey Mike, it's up. And so Ricardo under here, I would like to show you this video as an example of uh, something that I did uh, um, two weeks ago and, uh, and uh, the results uh, and the improvements in the technology are by the day. So the team also shifts a lot of different things uh, and a lot of different features uh, and uh, um, you also need to get used to the software, understand a little bit more, try doing a, a couple of videos before uh having the perfect one so this is also an iterative process so i i hope you like this video i think this is a really tool a uh, really useful tool i use it every day and try to scale it uh, as i'm using more and more of this tool uh would like also to hear your thoughts about what you think about uh, the tool if you like the video leave a thumbs up thanks for thanks for for everything bye bye